Hello friends, welcome to the last introduction to JavaScript tutorial. Um, use multiple conditional ternary operators. <clears throat> Here you have if, else, else, if, else, if, and then else. Um, the previous challenge, you used a single conditional operator. You can also chain them together to check for multiple conditions. The following function uses if, else, if, and else statements to check multiple conditions. Here we go. If, else, if, else. B is greater, A is greater, B and A are equal. The above function can be rewritten using a multiple conditional operators. So we want to return if A is equal to B, A and B are equal, else A is greater than B, um, A is greater, else B is greater. So it's very similar to what we did last time. This is a single line execution of this entire process. So as you can see, as you can guess, if you've got a big program and you've got a bunch of these, your files are going to be huge. Whereas if you use these, your files are going to be much smaller and more readable. So in the function over here, what we want to do is use um, multiple conditional operators to in the check sign function to check if a number is positive, negative, or zero. Hmm, that seems straightforward. So we want to return, let's say the number is equal to zero. If the number is equal to zero, um, we want to say, what do they want us to say? Return should return positive, negative, or zero. We want to return zero. The string, and then on the other condition, we could say that if uh, the number is greater than zero, we're going to want to return um, positive. Uh, and then if the number is less than zero, we want to return negative. And as you can see, it's it can be uh, all set into a single line uh, situation. Now I'm getting a syntax error. It's saying it doesn't like my use of semicolon. Hmm. Negative. So I'm looking in here. I've got one, two. Oh, you know what? It doesn't want this last guy. It just wants this. Um, yeah, so wh what's going on there is I'm adding a third ter ternary binary or whatever uh, conditional statement in there, and it only wants us to have these two. Um, and, and this is the else statement, so that works. I think if we run the test, it should pass now. Okay, and so yeah, this is a great way to make your code a little bit more readable and smaller and more efficient. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's it for JavaScript basics. There's plenty more to go though, so we'll see you guys in the next section. Thanks.